Okay, so welcome to our construction virtual open event. My name is Daniel Aldridge. I'm your presenter this evening. Kroiso and Oswaitha. I'm the head of school at Blinder Gwent Learning Zone, which is in Ebervale. I'm the head of construction there. And my moderator, who is helping me tonight, is Nigel Ridout, who is head of school of construction at the Newport campus of College Gwent. Hello there, how are you? Very well, thank you, Nigel. Um, the aims of this evening are to go over the courses that we offer in the college, to look at our construction curriculum, to give you a taste of college life and to answer any questions that you may have about the college or our construction courses. On the screen in front of you to the right, there should be a panel where you can post any questions at all as we're going through the pres presentation. Nigel will be answering them for you. He'll be typing up the answers. If the question you have is a personal question that relates only to your circumstances, then Nigel will answer it directly to you personally. If the question is one that everybody will benefit from seeing the answer to, then it will be published and the answer will be given there for everybody to see. As this is our first, the first time we've done a virtual open evening event, we'd just like to know a little bit about you, just to know who is in, who is here, who's out there and who's attending the event. So if you wouldn't mind just saying hello, just by saying hi in the question bar. Just a little bit about us. As I said, I'm Dan Mordridge. Um, I've been working for the college for the last 15 years. I've been a head of school for a number of schools, but I must say that my current role as head of school for construction is the most interesting and enjoyable role I've had in the college. I particularly like seeing the skills of our learners develop and then can take those skills into the building industry and make careers there. Nigel, would you mind telling us a little bit about your background as well, please? I certainly will, Dan. Hi there, everyone. I'm Nigel Ridout, Head of School of Construction at the Newport campus, as Dan said. Uh, I've, I've been in construction since I was 14, 15, uh, in, in, uh, working as a plumbing heat engineer um, in holiday school time and whatnot, uh, which uh, gave me the interest to become a uh, plumber full time, doing a college course for four years, which I studied in College Gwent and got my uh, the finest of qualifications there. Um, I then moved on to being self-employed uh, and then uh, over to, uh, to college to start teaching. So which, uh, which gave me the chance to give some of the uh, information back and help out future apprentices. Uh, and now uh, we're enjoying the, the last three years being ahead of school here uh, and looking forward to uh, a few years of, of supporting more apprentices and learners coming through the trade. Uh, trade has been my life for a very long time now and and is, uh, has given me a great future. Uh, and, and also um, it's uh, been very interesting on the way. There's so many avenues and different routes you can get into. So uh, it's uh, always keeps you on your toes and always got lots of places you can go and see and do with it with uh, other topics um, always being added to it. So there's all more strings to your bow. Over to you, Dan. Thank you very much, Nice. Have we got, had anybody say hello yet? Have we got anybody in the in the presentation, in the event? I mean, indeed, I was just going through that. We've got a few newcomers. So we've got seven attendees working at the moment. So again, getting busier. Uh, so we've got a few highs coming through and we've got Evan. Hello, Evan. So uh, that's going to be accepted for carpentry level one in September. Uh, so that's great news. So you've had, con um, you've had confirmation. Um, and that's brilliant. So you're coming through, Evan. Well done getting through carpentry. Mm -hmm. A good, good career choice and plenty of work out there for carpenters. Brilliant, thank you. Hi there, Evan. So just to go into the courses that we do offer across the college, these courses are delivered across two campuses, the City of Newport campus, obviously in Newport, and the Blind Gwent Learning Zone, which is situated in Ebervale. Courses are then Brick Lane Carpentry, Painting and Decorating, Electrical Installation, Plumbing, Groundworks, Multi-Skills and Civil Engineering. Now, most of those courses are pretty apparent what they are. It's pretty clear what they are just from the name of them. But multi skills, if you're not sure what multi skills is, this is a course for those who know they want to get into construction, but they're not exactly sure which of those trades they want to do. So if you signed up for that course at level one or entry three, it would give you an introduction to a number of trades. So on your timetable, you'd be doing a bit of bricklaying one lesson, a bit of carpentry the next, 
you're then doing some painting and decorating and finish the day off doing plumbing. So it's a good all round introduction to all of the trades. Once you've done that, then you could go on to the course which you most enjoyed and, and take up the trades that you most enjoyed. The majority of these courses are done at level one, two and three. Apart from civil engineering, the last one on the list there, which is done at HNC, HND level, which is getting on for degree level. So we do, we do offer some university courses at the college and that's our highest course in construction. Can I just stop there for a second to see if we have any questions on any of those courses on the construction con curriculum that we offer here. And we've got a few more highs coming through um, as a high from Tor. Hello Tor, how are you? And we've got uh, uh, another one. I'm confused on the classroom layout in Ebervale, what room uh, and it's painted decorating to be in. So um, so just look really looking at the map. So uh, obviously we may have been through our 360 tour. Um, Dan, the, the three the um painting yeah. decorating layout. Have we got any uh, question any answers on the on that by chance? Just this what what yeah. size of the room? Um, it's it's a good size room. Um, it fits 15, 14, 15 learners at one time. Um, we have level one and level two painting and decorating and some apprenticeships at the learning zone. It's possible that it's not on the 360 degree tour because it's a brand new workshop and it's only been in operation for one year for this year. But we've had excellent success this year with the course. We've got a really good tutor. Um, but yes, the course, the, the workshop is fit for purpose and it's a good size and it can fit you all in there. You can, there's, a, there's a staircase that you'd be painting, there's walls, there's everything you could want to paint and decorate is in that workshop. Any other questions, Nige? Uh, there's just a few more hellos. Hello, Solomon, um, but uh, no questions as yet. Um, I'll just uh, repeat on there some of the um, the course you mentioned there, Groundworks, uh, is is one that's coming up quite a lot, uh, and there's uh, more, more and more work looking towards Groundworks, uh, which is um, uh, a lot of the um, leading to plant industry and things like that. So, which is the big diggers, uh, which are always fun to drive. And now, uh, have you already had to go on those? Dan, have you had to uh, go on a dig? I, I haven't, but I know that you have, nice. Yet, have you, uh, yeah, it must fun. I must get you down there more. So we're going to do, try and have that uh, fun because it's, it's career work as well. So we, we've got more people coming for Groundworks in the civil engineering route then, which is a, a level three, level four, level five with the, the uh, construction and the built environment route, which is also the three, four and five. So they are uh, linking course. All our courses link from uh, from the ground level one right up through to, to level three, sorting of trades and then level four and five for our HNC, HND. OK, thank you, Nigel. Keep the questions coming as we go through. We will have time at the end to go back and answer any questions that you might have missed in this section. But we'll move on to the next section. So college life, what's it like to be a learner at the college? Um, we have lots of opportunities for you, particularly if you're a full time learner, but some of these are open to part time learners as well. We do arrange trips, be it to building sites or further afield. This year we had learners going to Malta. We've had learners going to Spain um, and Azerbaijan, particularly on world skills competitions. So if you are the best in your class and then the best in the college and then the best in your area, you can represent Wales in your trade and you can go abroad and compete at a very high level. We arrange work experience for you alongside the course, which can be done in your break or it can be done in term time for a week or two. We've mentioned competitions. You will have a personal tutor who will have a tutorial with you once a week, who will be there to offer you career advice, support you with your learning, with any personal issues, with other financial issues, give you advice on a whole range of things and they're there to look after you during your time in college. So in some ways we are similar to school in that respect in that you will get support and look that you will be looked after throughout your time in the college. Everybody will be a member of the student union once you enroll with the college, which is good because it gives you a voice in the running of the college and it helps us find out what you think about the course. Um, and of course, uh, I wouldn't like to miss out the fact that when you come to college, you will have the opportunity to make connections with other learners, make friends and also make links with employers 
to go on to work after you finish with us, to go on to apprenticeships and to go on to other courses. So there's lots of opportunities for making connections whilst in college. We just pause there for a second. Have we had any more questions relating to either college life or the construction courses that we offer, Nige? We have done. We've had a, a few questions coming through now as we're getting quite busy. So bear with me on, on turn to uh, to get back to you all. Uh, this is going to take some time, but um, I'll answer a few in now. The evening course charges are vary. Uh, there are lots of different ways that we can um, part fund or fully fund some of these courses. You may have uh, heard on the radio of a PLA, which is personal learning account. So if you are above 21, uh, sorry, no, if you're above 19, you are um, employed and you are earning less than £26,000. A lot of our construction courses we can give you for, uh, for free, no charge. Nigel, I think it's break, Nigel's breaking up a little bit there. The, the other thing we can do with um, part-time courses to, for, pay, for payment methods, if you are finding it a little bit difficult to pay, we can make payment plans for you so you can break down the payments into small manageable chunks. So that's another another way of easing the burden of paying for the part time courses. Absolutely, Dan. OK, we have another. My, was my connection. Can you hear me now, Dan? Yeah, that's fine. Nice. OK, good. Um, uh, we have another question coming through for uh, qualifications abroad. So the qualifications uh, from Netherlands as such um, and EU standards, but not so any qualifications. Some qualifications do actually um, cross over and we can do um, a cross reference. And so if you've done a level two somewhere, we could then produce, we can let you go on to a level three. And um, sometimes if you've done half a qualification, we can match across, but not all. So what we'd need to do if, if um, on the enrollment day, if you bring your qualifications in, we can then look at the qualifications uh, and then do a cross reference there and then to see if we can match uh, to our qualifications that we have. Brilliant. Thank you, Nige. I'll move on to our next slide. What you need to prepare for college. Well, physically, there's not much that you would need to bring to college. We will provide for you your PPE, which is your personal protective equipment. Obviously, on a construction site, you need to look after yourself physically, and it's exactly the same in the workshops in college. So we will provide you with steel toe cap boots some protective over trousers and a polo shirt. So we have to, we have to legally look after you so that you don't come to any harm in college, just the same as if you're on a on a, on a construction site. Other than that, the, the preparation we need for you is kind of prepare yourself to enter a professional environment. We want you to come to us and be as professional as possible, really treat the college as a job, as your entry into the workplace um, and be as punctual as possible to attend all of the time and to come to us really wanting to learn your trade and to make the most of the lecturers who will be teaching you. They're all highly qualified and have all come from the trade that you want to join. They are professional bricklayers, professional plumbers, professional electrical in installers, everything. So. In order to prepare for being in college, prepare your mindset to learn and make it as professional as possible. That's the end of the formal presentation. Thank you for listening. Have we got any questions? OK, we've got um, a few few people coming through now. We've still got a few attendees, a few questions uh, I'm looking at. Common thread would be um, they've applied and the people are just waiting. You're all waiting really for a uh, response from the college to let you know if you've, you've got the place. Uh, so these all your all your um, applications will be dealt with. They are will be sitting through quite a lot of this time, uh, making sure that uh, we've got everyone in the right course, in the right place. And also we are planning our uh, enrollment week where we ask you to come into college. Uh, and we enrol you, whether it's be remote enrolling or whether in the college at the moment, that is what we're planning. So as soon as we get the, the that date for you, we can let you know. We'll send letters and emails out to you uh, com confirming the uh, your place in the course and also the date coming for your enrolment. OK, brilliant. Thank you, Nige. If we let people just spend a little bit of time thinking and writing their questions down, I will go back a slide and we will watch the a presentation, a little a short video clip which shows you some of the workshops in the college, 
some of the learners and some of the equipment that we have. And I'll, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to put some a quick few um, links in for the college for enrolment, how to apply and finance. Yeah, I don't think the sound is going to be working on this, Nigel, so I'm going to just put, drop out of the presentation and then come back in with the sound, OK? No worries at all. I'll hold the phone while you go through the links then. OK, I'll leave it in your, I'll leave it in your um, capable hands. Thank See you, Dan. Right. Hi everyone, we're OK on the uh, question and answer. If you found the question and answers, they are on the top right hand side on your screen, and depending on what computer you have, but there's a little a box saying uh, Q&A. So any questions you want can be put in there. I've got a few going through at the moment um, and I'm going to put some links on there. Uh, people have applied and people are uh, trying to find how to apply. So I'm going to add those links to the site right now. <coughs> So the how to apply is going on the right hand side for you now. Am I back in, Nige? Back in, Dan. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah, I'll start the I'll start the I'll start the little video then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've had a, um, a few come through. Do we do we have any female students join courses? Yes, we do. Not enough. We should be having more, but we do have, and it is, it is getting more and more each year. Um, uh, and then we've got a, a, a we're increasing um, across construction quite a lot in the Newport campus. And I think Abbeville can say the same. I think Dan is it. Let's yeah, definitely. We've got female bricklayers. We've got female plumbers. We've got female carpenters. We've got we've got girls in every every single class. I think. That's I think yes, that's fantastic. We have also got a um, women in construction uh, course that is the start of last year. Uh, this was um, this was built for for due to research. A lot of research uh, was done. Uh, a lot of a lot of female they were trying to were wanting to join, but didn't have the confidence to join a, a male dominant environment. So much. So um, there were there was a lot of interest um, from the local in Gwent area uh, from women to say they would join if there was a woman course they would prefer. So we've given that opportunity. Uh, any women women can join um, the lots of any classes they want, obviously. Uh, but we have one got one just specifically for women, just so, so it gives them the opportunity to get there uh, in, into the environment of construction as well. And this was successful. We've got we've got a great success stories from the women construction there with uh, with. Um, Someone doing the short course uh, now enrolled onto a large course and thinking about going self-employed. Uh, so uh, with a with a maintenance company. So it's uh, one of the stories plus many more. Brilliant. Thank you, Nige. Well, thank you everybody for listening to our presentation. And thank you for your questions and for saying hello. The event, the presentation is finished now, but we will be online for a bit longer, answering any questions. So we will probably go quiet for a bit and we will just be quietly answering any questions. We'll be hanging out here online to deal with any queries you have. But from Nigel and myself, thank you very much for coming. We've enjoyed it. And we look forward to seeing you in September, hopefully.